Greetings and salutations, my great, great, great friends. Welcome to another fantastic Friday tip video for the Wonder and Amazement series. Let's jump right into the lesson. Over the last few years before coronavirus took root, I was traveling all over the great country of the United States and I was speaking all over the place at different businesses, helping them to become the greatest versions of themselves. And I'm a guy that's pretty easily amused. Now there really is a lesson hidden in here too, by the way, and it is quite a doozy for wonder and amazement. So I'd be sitting there in my airplane seat and they would get to the inevitable airplane safety rules. I always thought the first one was super funny where they have to show you how to put on a seat belt. I don't know about you, but I don't want to fly with anybody who doesn't know how to put on a seatbelt, unless it's like a little infant kid, but then again, their parents are doing it for them anyways. And then you get to, you get to the number two briefing. <laughs> and now, now that I share this with you, every time you're on a plane, you hear this, you're going to start laughing out loud. And it goes something like this, in the event of a water landing. A water landing? What? What's the pilot gonna get bored and decide to land the old 747 in the water? And I'm always like, why don't they just call it what it is? A crash. Then of course, if you are happen to survive the crash, they've got the little vest now with the light and the whistle and all those things. But back in the day, it was rip off your seat cushion. And if you survive, you can mount the seat cushion on your fireplace next to the deer head. But then you get to the third lesson and it actually is a really really great one it's a great one for living your life with wonder and amazement and that one goes something like this in the event the cabin depressurizes or something whoosh, one of these guys comes down from the ceiling and, and they say even if you have kids you are to put yours on first Because if you don't put your oxygen mask on first, you will quickly blank out and not be able to save anyone. And in our lives, if we are to live our lives with wonder and amazement, you got to do this every single day. You're gotta put your oxygen mask on first. What's the oxygen mask anyways? Well, every morning before we leave the front door, you need to check your attitude. Is it set to win or is it set to lose? And what does your attitude consist of? For our coaching company, it consists of your mindset, and where you're at emotionally for the day. Are you leading your emotions or are you letting your emotions lead you? The second part of your oxygen mask, it's as easy as the old ABC drill, is your body. Are you fueling it like a million dollar racehorse or are you treating it like a garbage dump? And then the next part of the oxygen mask is C, your connections. Are you prepared to nurture and add value to your connections for the day? Because if you put on the ABC oxygen mask every day, it will lead to the D part of the oxygen mask and that's living your dreams. But more importantly, when you put on your oxygen mask, it allows you to do something that massively leads to wonder and amazement. And it creates just about the most happiness there is. When you put on your oxygen mask every day, it allows us to serve and serve powerfully and not black out in under 10 seconds. So every day you want to live your life with wonder and amazement, remember, 
put your oxygen mask on first so that you can serve and serve powerfully. See you next week.